Father, we give you praise and give you all glory and all honor this morning. As a people, we we gather at your feet. We come as we are to receive strengthening, to receive quickening. to receive grace as the sheep goes under the scepter of the shepherd. Lord, so do we come this morning that that of God which afflicts any, you would take hold of and you would remove. Thank you for the shed blood of Jesus. Let the scepter of the Lord be our stretch over his sheep this morning. And purge and cleanse of every affliction and every sickness. I pray, Father, that you will touch your own. Let the pain, Lord, in that chest be healed. Let the pain, O God, in that breast be healed. Healed in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let Father, everyone, know God this morning that have one issue or the other. As the blood <coughs> purges and cleanses, and as the stripes of Jesus heals and restores, so may there be healing and restoration. Many of God have come up against challenges upon challenges that they have been unable to stand and to overcome. Father, I pray that there be empowerment this morning. There be empowerment this morning. Many of God went out, oh God, at the start of the week and yesterday and, and came back with nothing, O oh God, and, and have been in a place where they have not been able to show forth the Lord's fruits. I pray grace find them this morning. I pray grace find them this morning. The Father, there shall be fruit, Lord, in the store. There shall be an abundance, O God, of your visitation upon your own. There shall be the favor of the Lord. That you are favoring, you are in us, both to will and to do. You are favoring, you are lifting up. You are teaching, you are equipping, you are directing, you are building hope. You picked us up, Lord, out of the merry clay and planting our feet upon a solid rock. Let every weight and every entanglement be laid aside this morning. We bless your name, Father. We give you all glory and all honor. Bless the Lord, O our soul. And all that is within us, bless His holy name. Yes, Lord. We have not received the spirit of bondage to fear. We have received, Lord God, the Spirit of God that brings us to the place of liberty and freedom where we cry, Abba, Father. I pray, Spirit of grace, that this morning each and every one of your own be brought to that place, O God, of freedom in spirit, freedom in mind. My Father, I ask, O God, That your power be made, O God, available, exhibited powerfully, O God, in every life. To bring each and every one of us into the place of glory. Thank you. Thank you. Beloved, I'd like you to open your mouth this morning and thank you. Thank you. For his thoughts concerning you, thank him. For his mercies that he gives, thank him. Receive of him. Scripture says that we should come boldly. This morning we come. Receive of him mercy. In the Mulasa and Eko. 
and find grace at his hand. Grace upon grace. Grace. That enabling power of the Most High. Grace. Grace upon grace. That enabling power. That enables and quickens. Mercy and grace this morning. The Lord be praised. The Lord be praised. We give Him all glory and all honor this morning. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Again, onto our scripture we've been looking at in Ephesians chapter 1, and I read again from verse 15. And the Apostle Paul says, That wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints, says not to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayers. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us world who believe according to the working of his mighty power which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principality and power and might and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come, and have put all things under his feet, and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Now we find <clears throat> we find the Lord doing wonderful things in <clears throat> in bringing us to the knowledge of Christ, and like we have established over the time we've been looking at it, it took him his unsurpassing power to raise Christ from the dead and and lifted him all up and beloved no one asked him what are you doing no one was able to stop him and he seated him on his right hand and the scripture say it is that same power that he exhibits towards you and I that when he set forth his hand to save you and pull you from wherever you are and to save your soul, he's not ending there until he brings you to the place of glory. Because let's believe that. Let's believe that this awesome power is so determined to bring me 
to the place of glory. And nothing will stop it. Not even you yourself. Because I will not even you yourself. But today I want to, because today is the last day I have, I want to look at it from the context where the scripture says that this Christ who he raised from the dead and seated him far above all principality and all power and might and dominion and and anything imaginable that can be named. He put it everything under his feet. The scripture says that he gave him unto us to be the head and we the body. And it is important that we know that whatever glory the head exhibits, the finger exhibits, whatever glory the head exhibits, the toe exhibits, it gave him to be the head. And, and this Christ, who is the head, who is above all things, have brought us to the place where we are sharing in this glory. Beloved, that is where the whole thrust of this message uh, or, or what the Lord is saying to us, that's where it is. And it is the lack of understanding and belief when by our words and by our confession and by our deeds we clearly show that we don't believe what the scripture says that's how come we struggle and that's how come we do not experience that which the word of god has promised us but since it is this unsurpassing power of god at work my only prayer is that we will not understand it and come to the place to believe it so late in the day. You know, I have this friend who always says that if you become very wealthy and rich to be able to buy a Ferrari or any car that you imagine the best there is at 90 your wealth is useless because at 90, what will you do with Ferrari? You won't enjoy it. Even to sit inside becomes a problem. To get out of it will be a whole problem. But imagine you have that at 24. Oh, what joy that would be. What joy that would be. And I pray that each and every one of us will be in a place where we do not have our understanding enlightened too late in the day. Oh, what needless pain we would have borne. And what needless failures and things and disgrace and shame and reproach we would have gone through most of our lives. But we will be there. Because the exceeding, unsurpassing power of the Most High is at work in you and I. So when God brought us together with Christ and raised Him up, beloved, and brought us to the place where we actually can sit with Him in glory, the Scripture says that in John, in, 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 in quoting Jesus in his prayer in John 17, he says that the glory which you gave me, I have given unto them. The glory which you gave me, I have given unto them. And he did not just end it. He summed it up in saying that I in them and you in me. That union. Beloved, you and I, weak men like you and I, in the mind of God and before the eyes of God, He has brought you and I to the place where the glory that the head exhibits 
he has given unto the body. And he says that where I am, they would be also. That ordinary men and women like you and I will walk in God's path. And will come to the place that we dare believe in. And the chains will fall. And the situations that are around us will speak into it. And they would listen and respond. And we would experience that joy. And for a fraction of a moment, you would see that this is what it is like to walk in glory. And beloved, may you walk in that glory. May you walk in that glory because the power that God is exhibiting through you is still available to make you walk in that glory. What it took him to bring you and I there was that when we were poor, he became poor for our own sake. So that he will bring us to the place where we are no longer bereft of things and glory and power and, and all that that will be filled. When no one will look at you and, and everybody will despise you and, and, and say that you are of nothing and all that. The scripture says that he himself came to be despised and was spat upon. Think about it, about, about a man who loves a woman. Who would go through all things just for her. Who would endure so many things just for her. That if she is forsaken, he wants to stand there with her. If she is poor, she wants to stand there and take away her poverty. That's the kind of thing that the Lord exhibited towards the body, which is his wife, his bride, which is his church. If he's sitting upon the throne, he wants us to sit with him in his throne. You know, the jealousy of such a situation is so deep that you, the scripture says that you hear in certain places that it is being asked and say, oh, what is man that you are mindful of him? Because he lifted you above principalities and powers and, and dominions and thrones and, and might and, and any name that is named that they understood and they know it that the jealousy is so deep, so red, so, so powerful, so, so, so deep and ingrained in them that all that they can ask and say, what is man? What is Gloria? What is Joyce? What is, what is Kwame? What is CJ? What is this? That you are so mindful of him. That's the kind of question. But what will Martin say? What will Gloria say? What will Nelly say? What will Yah say? Are we aware? It is like having the most precious bag and dress and shoe that you are wearing and, and, and driving in the classiest of cars and, and, and going forth and, and you have no clue of the value of it. People see you and they want to kill to take it. But to you, it probably was nothing. But may we wake up. May we wake up. You know, Peter also said, by the promptings of the Spirit, that angels even inquired to look into and to know what it is that God is doing with us. And God had to tell them, say, shush, 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 shush. This has nothing to do with you. This has nothing to do. What was it they want to look into? You? Wake up, you. Yes. Wake up, you. Wake up, you. Maybe even literally, wake up. And stop sleeping. And get to the place where now by the understanding of the Lord, you realize that he's 
awesome, unsurpassing, energetic strength is at work in me. Is at work in me. Beloved, I'd like us to, I just want to pause and we pray. If all of creation is asking all over the place, what is man, what is man, that you are mindful of him, that you made him lower than angels and subdue all things under his feet. We want to know it, beloved. Lord, cause me to see what you have made me. Beloved, let's pray. In the Asitoka, Yani also did it be And may I not trample it under foot. May I not treat it as nothing. This treasure and this glory that is being bestowed, this power, only Mrostin did it May I not be like Esau who traded it for just a lunch. Not even a whole day's meal. Just a, a lunch. He traded his birthright for it. May I not be like Esau. May I not trade it. But may I see the value. May my eyes be open. May my eyes be open. May I know God's power that is available in me. Beloved, God brings you and I unto that place. I speak the power of Christ, of power of healing into someone this morning. Power of healing. 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 I said reflash. Be healed in the name of the Lord Jesus. The excessive acid in that body. Be touched by the power of Christ Jesus. Cano Sentioko. Lere Bidiono Sonti Libricata Ziande Kula Bondi. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Karatisu. In the Mio Sondi Libricata Senioko. May you see the power of Christ available. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the strength of God come into your arm. That that which you hold on to will not be taken away from you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that which you hold on to, that which you hold on to will not be taken away from you. In the the name of the Lord Jesus. The eyes of jealousy and greed that is all around you. Repandi di bikatano son. They will not be able to limit you. Rabiondeke lemeke. Who is he that can take out of the hand of the Father? Rapadiono lundi di bike. Because he is faithful. That that which is committed into his hand he is able to keep. Rapado lobron di di bike. Ima no lebron di di bike. Faithful is he who has begun it. Rabioso tendi. And who also would bring it up to a perfect finish. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord of glory, manifest himself in us. Beloved, when the scripture talks about that whim of Jacob, it was true. But he can't say so now of you. Because the power of God that is all embodied in Christ Jesus has been given unto you. Has been given unto you. It's been given unto you. Yes, Lord. Beloved, if God put all of his power at work, it means it doesn't matter what the obstacle and what the circumstances and the situations are. I say unto someone this morning, victory is on your side. It doesn't matter if death itself is following you. Life is yours. Calibro zenioni cantele bedionoso. It doesn't matter if 10,000 witches have been consulted and brought together. 
to rob you or to limit you, I say unto you, without any fear or of contradiction, I say unto you that they will not be able to do you any harm. Because you are seated with Christ, in his throne, and you also, your eye will behold that glory that he, he walks in. You would behold that glory. You would walk in that glory. You would walk in that glory. Rise up from the place of fear and doubt. Rise up from the place of place of intimidation. Rise up from that place of, 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 of the limitation and step up beyond the care. Scripture says in Psalm 19 about the fact that oh that beyond the nebuke the righteous is like a sun that rises like a champion that rises out man of lobrun did be in the morning ready to run a race kele bandura po monu so ten did be shake yourself rabiono kolobodo yes there may be things that have been thrown at you to make you feel that this is the end of it there may be things that have been thrown at you over and over there may be waves that upon waves that are laying upon you but that is nothing to the might of God that is nothing to the might of God. That is nothing to the might of God. Arise, there's breath in your mouth. There is breath in your nostrils. Live, Rabiono Kolobrandike, in the name of the Lord Jesus. He's he's unsurpassing. Marabandi Nibike. Great, awesome, 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 energetic strength is at work in you and I. Let nothing hold you back. The Lord bless you, beloved, and keep you. The Lord turn his face unto you and be very gracious and merciful to you. The Lord Lift his countenance upon you and give you peace, perfect peace. Awake, daughter of God, awake, son of God, awake, and walk. And exhibit his glory. Amen. I saw the time I thought I was going to end a minute before so that you could owe me one minute so that it becomes ten another time. You know, God is a God of profit. So if you owe me a minute, I take ten. But unfortunately, um, I couldn't do that. God bless you, beloved. God really, really, really bless you. And this morning, I saw God touching some people healing and walking that healing. Shake yourself and receive his healing. Receive his healing. Have a very blessed day and God willing, tomorrow we shall meet um, again, in the morning for fellowship. And please remember that we are speaking the word of God unto people. Wherever you find yourself, don't only wait. Some of you don't even come when we say come to church. And let's do the outreach. So wherever you find yourself, speak the word of God into someone's life. And draw someone to Christ. And preach the word of God to them. Amen. Have a very blessed day. And may you escape every sword of the enemy and may victory be yours now and evermore amen